So coffee got discovered, you know, by a goat herder. Uh, they say his goats got into the to, to the coffee cherries that were growing wild in the forests of Ethiopia, and they were bouncing around dancing. So you'll see coffee shops called Dancing Goats and things like that. Um, but it was all because these goats had so much energy from the caffeine. After he discovered it, he was drinking coffee as just green coffee beans soaked in water. But uh, they later discovered uh, that if you roasted it, that you started to get these really pleasant aromas coming out. Coffees are coming from all over, and we are always bringing different coffees from, uh, from Brazil, Ethiopia, Kenya, Guatemala, Colombia, uh, all with different flavors that want to be expressed. And what we try to do is highlight those different flavors in the way that we roast. I always tell people it's like a Google Earth image, and the closer you can zoom in, typically the more valuable the coffee because we're able to know exactly who grew this coffee and where it was processed and things like that. Whereas if it's just a cooperative coffee, then um, you've got a lot of hands in the supply chain and that tends to interfere with the quality of the coffee. Repeatability is everything. And, and all roasters know that the coffee from roast to roast is going to change very, very fractionally, but it will. You have, to, you have to have a good fear of how fast it can change and how different it can become and taste like a totally different coffee, like 15 seconds. At a certain time during the roast, the roastiness will overtake the origin character of the coffee and you'll end up tasting just roasty, you know? It's like a piece of toast that you put in a toaster and if you toast it too long, then you don't taste the, the grains anymore, you just taste the uh, toastiness uh, that we've added to it. So it's the same thing with coffee. So a lot of the coffees we roast at Lineage are aimed to be very bright and a little bit acidic. Uh, not bracing, we want it to be a pleasant experience, but people always say, oh, this coffee's bitter, I don't like it, I can't get into this. Um, and what we try to help them picture is when you bite into like an orange, um, and then you've got this really crisp, nice citric acidity to it, um, we want coffee drinking to be a very fresh, crisp experience. We don't want it to be something where you've got a bunch of cream and a dark roasted coffee, just because I don't find that pleasant. I want to roast things that I'm passionate about. So when we started at, at Lineage, we, we opened our first shop in East End Market, and it's not a full shop, it's more of uh, kind of an expression of what I want Lineage to be known as, and um, it's a very clean laboratory-like feel. So we, we have uh, a lot of like, you know, white subway tile and things like that, and we wanted it to be a very clean experience to where as soon as you saw the place inside of the market, that Lineage would kind of catch your eye and that you would see maybe there was some different um, different things there, a different experience there than was provided in the rest of the market. And the whole goal was that we would have a showcase for the coffees that we buy to be able to, to bring them in, roast them in a way that highlights the origin, and then serve them in a very simplified way. So when you come into our shop, we don't have a lot of the syrups, we don't have a lot of the flavors, because the whole goal is to show black coffee uh, and, and show people how delicious that can be. And even when we do it as espresso now, a year later that we launched it, um, we want it to be very clean and very simple, so it's milk and it's coffee. We want it to be a showcase for the coffees that we buy to just have a little platform to where we can share them with you know, a few customers who are really passionate about what we're passionate about. Um, and it's been cool to watch as we've been open, the, the customers that are really interested in this type of coffee have kind of come out of the woodwork here in Orlando. I really am excited to see where coffee is going to go to next as we, as we watch this progression and we watch the storyline of coffee. Uh, that's kind of where the name Lineage came from is that I wanted to be uh, a place that was on the storyline of coffee as you're looking at the storyline and how it was first harvested and then first roasted and now um, you know from commodity coffee to, to coffee houses to now they call this the third wave of coffee and my goal is to really do something new in this third wave of coffee.